so hey guys welcome back to my channel it is sunday i just wanted to come in and show you guys first how the picture is coming along or the canvas i have it sitting on top of the stove because it's so damn big i've been painting it on top of the so stove and just turning it so i have all the paper on it i painted it black i like how the little white is peeking through and all i have to do is finish up this little part of the edge I painted black around all the edges, but I have a little nick over here to correct. And right here, and just this part below. After that, she's getting hung up. So yeah, I like it. I know it's not everybody's taste, um, but I love it. <laughs> and damn show looks better than um, what I had up there before. So. so yeah, I'll show it to you guys once I get on the wall. So I'm at Publix trying to find a wine because I just feel like I'm in the mood to sip some wine so I can watch the um, Real Housewives of Potomac reunion part two tonight because part one was so damn turned up. But I'm looking at this here, Gloria. It's looking so good. Have you guys had this Gloria before? That shit is quite tasty and um, very strong. And I've never had the mango, so I don't know. Should I do some Gloria? Oh, this looks interesting. Some Gloria. Something good and nice. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go to Rosé. So, for the wine, I decided on this Ava Grace. And it actually is 13% alcohol. I've had this before too. And it is pretty damn good. I love rose. That's like probably my favorite wine. And it just gives me a reason to use my favorite um, crate and barrel glass, which is the Camille, AKA the Kerry Washington Olivia Pope glass. Like, it's the biggest glass of all time. As you can see, it's almost as tall as this freaking bottle. And I thought my martini glasses were big, but, um, which they are for a martini glass, but even compared to the Camille, the martini glass is a baby. So I'm also going to be cooking up these cookies. Like I said, we pre-gaming for this RO, um, this Housewives of Potomac Green, and that shit was lit last night, um, last time. So guys, I decided somebody, uh, one of my friends, um, Roya, or one of my Instagram friends, um, she told me to use some leather cleaner on this bag. She suggested the Coach leather cleaner. I don't have any, and they said they were sold out online. So I said, you know what? I think I got some old leather cleaner for my couch. Like literally, it's probably has been under my cabinet for years and years. I never used it with this little sponge so I used it on this bag and it looks so much better y'all it was looking so dingy I mean it's already a distressed leather but it was just looking so ashy yesterday and now she's kind of coming back to life um or she just looks a little bit better just a little bit less ashy and I cleaned the bottom a little bit too but yeah my Rocco is looking pretty damn good now and um, so I already used this soft cleaner, but I'm gonna go in tomorrow probably with this protection cream. I don't want it to be looking like shiny and I want it to look like, you know, the distressed original look it's supposed to have, but um, I just didn't want it to look hella ashy. But she looked hella good now. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> she will be getting carried like this week for sure. Monday morning, and we back at it. Oh, you already know how I feel about an empty gym, and that's my machine. Y'all, these are so damn dry. It is so dirty in here, but these are so dry. Like, what's the point? You gotta like put water on these hoes. 
What is this? I'm gonna start bringing my own wipes. Cha. So guys, like I said, I've been all about the archives lately, the fashion archives. I'm probably gonna need to do a separate video on that so people can kind of. Um, I, yeah, I know what y'all. I know y'all know what I mean by the fashion archives. But anyway, so I just got this package in today. Oh shit! I think I just got paint on me. Um, I just got this package in today from Fashion Foul. And um, first of all, they sent me a calendar like they always do. They sent me a new calendar. And I love their calendar. It's always so fun seeing like what purses and what they have for that month. Oh, this is a good one. This is my birthday. Month. This is my birthday. Oh, this is good. So that's very Capricorn January. Um, anyway, this is not a video about the calendar. This is not supposed to be about the calendar, but the calendar is the shit. And then also, look at the back. The Chanel. Oh, look at that shit. My goodness. Fashion foul. Anyway, they always get the calendar right. Anyway, again, all about the fashion archives. If you know, Fashion Foul is a pre owned site and um everything is authentic so you don't even really have to worry about that with them um but anyway so i picked up this item that i've been wanting for as you can see it has fur i've been wanting this since it came out um let's just get to it it's the carlito it's the carlito y'all i've been wanting this and honestly i did not want the one with the yellow hair but the price was so damn good i had to go ahead and snag him and so i mean carl lagerfeld is number one, first of all my second favorite designer of all time probably third i would say alexander mcqueen of uh, the original gabrielle coco chanel and then carl lagerfeld is probably the he's second he's second anyway um carl lagerfeld obviously died i think two years ago um, he was the creative director for both Chanel as well as Fendi. He created these little um, fur charms in um, his likeness for the house of Fendi. So this is actually a Fendi charm, even though most people know him from being the creative director of Chanel. He also was at Fendi and they are very much so known for their fur. Um, Fendi is, they're kind of unapologetic about fur. I think that's still their kind of stance on it. But anyway, how cute is Carlito? I wanted the pink hair one. This also, this is the mini Carlito. So, um, it also comes with pink hair. And then he also had to have one with blue hair. But, um, this is, I didn't want the yellow. But, like I said, the price is so damn good. Y'all, this is like something that's been on my wish list for, I don't even know, at least five years. I don't know when they came out originally. But anyway, say hi to Carlito. I want to say I pay like, whew. It was like 306 after tax, but originally these retail for like $800, and this is an excellent condition. It didn't come with a box or anything, but of course, Fashion Pal always provides a, um, a dust bag. And they also sent over this cute little file. At first, I was like, why would they send over a nail file? But duh, Fashion File. And it even has a cute little saying. I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet. I think that was um, Carrie Bradshaw's line. So yeah, super excited about my Carlito and my calendar. Of course, I had to share. Hey guys, um, just coming in to say hey. This is all the way from, I forget the last day I picked up the camera to Saturday, the day after Christmas. I'm just sitting here perusing um, some online sales. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up three of these Capri Blue candles. They're on sale for $21. This is one of my favorite candles. Also, over the break, I've gotten into snowfall, so I just started binging it like three days ago, and I'm already at the end of season two. Um, I haven't vlogged a ton this week because I honestly have been a little sad because I miss my family. I wasn't able to be with them for um, Christmas, so um, so yeah, I've just been binging snowfall, eating, and um, sleeping. <laughs> so hopefully, um, and also, there's my picture. I haven't put the um, picture light up yet, but I'll probably do that this week. And I'm also going to bring that picture down a little bit more on the wall. But just wanted to come in and say, hey, I hope you guys had a great Christmas and an even better New Year. And um, I'll, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you do, if you don't, please subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. You guys are greatly appreciated as I grow this channel and I will see you all next week.